explain to us, if you can, uh, the Rwanda, we're going to hear more from the High Court later about which way that's going to go. Which way do you want it to go? Well, it's not for me to prejudge the judge's judgment, but clearly it's not working as a deterrent as the government promised us. I mean, the government have made, I think, umpteen promises on this issue and said they will get sort it out. They clearly have failed on that front. We've got to really crack down on these criminal gangs who are smuggling people across the channel. They are... It's absolutely diabolical what they are getting away with and the way they are treating human lives. So we would fund a proper crime agency to do the detailed work to crack down on those criminal gangs. But it's not for me to prejudge a judge's judgment. We'll wait and see. Well, Jonathan, um, your leader, Keir Starmer, sounded very much like Nigel Farage a couple of weeks ago when he was saying we need a real clampdown on, on, on the immigration numbers coming into the UK. But Yvette Cooper yesterday is saying that Labour would have no plans to stop the small boats coming over. Which version of Labour's immigration policy is true today? Well, I didn't see Yvette Cooper say that. I, yeah. I, I can't believe that is what she said. I think today's, she like, laid out her, her detailed plan for cracking down on the, for cracking down on the criminal gangs... Uh, for dealing, with, for investing in a proper crime agency to help us crack down on the criminal gangs and for dealing with the processing of these asylum claims speedily. There's a massive backlog. And that's the reason why we are so many people smugglers are saying go to the United Kingdom. They advertise it on things like TikTok because they know there is this massive, massive backlog, right? Because the Conservatives have utterly failed to get on top of that problem. So we would deal with the backlog in asylum processing, because unless you deal with that, you're not going to deter, you're not going to act as a deterrent to these criminal gangs. So, and Keir Starmer didn't sound like Ni uh, Nigel Farage. Keir Starmer is a pragmatist, and we are in tune with the pragmatic instincts of the British people.